What's going on today? I'm gonna to show you how to do the dumbbell rear delt fly without wasting any of your time. Let's get right into it from A to Z of how to perform this exercise. So first and foremost, you can do a standing or seated. As you can see here, I'm doing a seated, I'm doing a standard. This is very much so based on preference. I'm pretty lanky and I, honestly, I kind of like doing seated. I find when I'm standing, I'm leaning all awkward and really kind of gets me off base and uncomfortable. So I much prefer the seated variant. You can go ahead and play with it and see which one works best for you. So first thing you wanna do is grab a light pair of dumbbells. Um, I'm using eight and this is even a little aggressive. My gym doesn't have too small uh, dumbbells So I'd recommend starting off with maybe three or five pounds to get this movement going um, Our goal here isn't go super heavy because if you do uh, what you're gonna end up doing is this common mistake of just kind of hitting it backwards as you can see me doing here I'm leaning down I'm positioned and I'm doing working my lats that's all I'm doing here is working my lats when it's too heavy. So instead, it's all about that position. So I like my chest right parallel to the ground. As you can see, I have the dumbbells right to my side, my head's down, I'm flying straight out to the side. So a good little cue is to try to be in line with your shoulders and bring it towards your ears. So one, two, this way I'm actually gonna work that rear delt, which is the muscle behind my shoulder here. Whereas if I do it backwards, I'm gonna work my lat. And that's a common mistake. Next common mistake, is not gonna be having your arms straight enough. If your arms are too bent, you're just gonna end up working your lats as well. It's gonna turn into a row. So you can see me doing this here. I'm basically rowing. This is something I see a lot of people doing. You wanna avoid it. So once again, to dodge the first two common mistakes, chest is straight down, arms are straight, lifting towards the ear with straight arms, and I'm squeezing. One, two, three, and it's easy as that. Kyle's gonna come in with one more mistake that you wanna make sure to avoid. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. It lets you know that you liked it. This is a new format, something we're trying out. You know, we're always trying to structure these videos in different ways. So it's the easiest for you to understand and go implement immediately. So if you have any suggestions, comments, or anything, just comment down below, it'll mean the world. So mistake number three, quick and simple, is a lot of people will like to do these a little higher, kind of like this, as you can see me doing. Now when I'm in this position, I'm getting a lot of my lateral head, and I'm gonna get a little bit of my rear delt. So I know a lot of bodybuilders will overload, overload. they'll get like 50 pounds, 60 pounds, you know, and they'll be a little bent and they'll get you will get some work in the rear delt but our focus here with this video is to teach you how to do a strict rear delt fly so by strict what I mean by having this torso straight down I can engage my rear delt the most possible doing this you will have other muscles come in like your back it is natural if you feel a little bit your back a little bit your traps they are secondary movers and they will have a role but our goal here is to be as strict as possible to really teach you how to do this exercise correctly if you want to go a little heavier and overload that's okay just know that it's not strict and you're not gonna be strictly working that rear delt. So that's a mistake I see because a lot of people will try to do it strict. They'll start here, it'll get heavier, ah, ah, and then before you know it, I'm just ripping lateral raises, working primarily that lateral head when the focus is the rear delt. So keep that in mind. Hopefully that helps your understanding. So thanks for chilling, enjoying this video. We got a free gift for you before you leave. I'm not going to ask you to like or anything more like that. Just first thing in the description down below, get our free form guide. It's a personal trainer in your pocket. We've got over 40 exercises where we just simply show you to do it with pictures. It's a PDF. You can take it to the gym. Make sure your form's right for pretty much any exercise out there. We got you. We'll see you in the next upload. Peace. Like the cool blue light Like the cool blue